Hey everybody, welcome back to my Project 13. Thanks for taking the time to come on by and check out this video. Appreciating your support. Now, if you receive emails from Samsung like I do, then what I'm going to talk about in this video, you already know. But for those of you that don't, here's a tidbit of information on the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. So this is what the email looked like when I received it. Samsung Galaxy, be the first in line. It's almost here. Reserve the latest Galaxy smartphone and get a special offer reserved now. Now, we're just right around the corner from hearing everything that we need to know about the Note 9. Now, there's a lot that we already know, but all the pieces to the puzzle, everything's going to be solidified. Okay, we're going to get everything from what the device is going to look like to what everything underneath the hood is going to be how much different the Note 9 is actually going to be from the Note 8 and what the S Pen really is going to do for us Bluetooth enabled S Pen now from what I'm reading the homework that I've been doing the rumors the leaks the S Pen will have a lot of different functionality than the previous S Pens Bluetooth enabled will allow you to control your device from so many feet away while listening to music. You'll be able to use it as a, let's just say a remote control. You'll be able to increase the volume, decrease volume, skip a track, all from your S Pen. And you may be able to receive phone calls. There's going to be possibly a mic on the S Pen, just like you would a headset. And there's going to be a lot more. Now, I don't know everything. Again, August 9th, we're going to find out all that information. We're going to learn uh, pre-orders, the, the exact price of the Note 9, uh, the color choices. You know, there's just going to be everything and anything that's going to be talked about on August 9th when Samsung finally comes out with everything that the Note 9 will be for you for those of you who are considering bringing in that device, uh, there's going to be a lot of us that want to trade up our devices, uh, whether it's going to be a Samsung device or an iPhone, uh, where, whether it's an LG device or a Google device. Those are the four categories in which you'll be able to take uh, certain devices and be able to use them to trade up and take some money off of the Note 9, which is a great idea. And you know, it, you end up losing a little bit. But for those of you who aren't interested in the Note 9 and you're looking at the Note 8, that's going to be a great time to, to uh, do some homework because the price is going to drop on the Note 8 considerably, uh, whether it's new or whether it's refurbished or over at Swappa with a lot of folks out there who want to sell their Note 8s to pick up the Note 9. Okay, so if we go to the next page here, be first in line, reserve the latest... Galaxy smartphone and get a special offer. Now it's not telling you Note 9, but that's exactly what they're talking about. You can just see the picture there. Okay. Um, so save up to 450 when you trade in an eligible device. Get it first with early uh, access to pre-order and guaranteed delivery by 824. Sign up to reserve the next Galaxy. And then you'll you'll put in all your information and I would choose unlocked. Some of you don't want that option. You'll have the option for, let me turn down this display a little bit more. Uh, AT&T, Sprint, Verizon, T-Mobile, US Cellular. Um, but I would go unlocked. That would be uh, much easier for me if I wanted to sell the device down the road. Uh, and then beneath that, you're going to see Samsung trade-in, save up to 450 when you trade in an eligible device. To begin, click here. So you have an option to click right there. And then you would click that little area there for the uh, privacy policy in terms of use. And then you would reserve. But when you click on that little area right there, you know, it's hard to see there. It says here, click here. You're going to see this. Trade in your phone and save up to 450 to begin select the manufacturer so you got samsung lg apple and google okay now for me since i still have my samsung galaxy s9 plus that's the device that i would trade in 
and they would give me 450 smacks and then there's other devices there so you can put the video on pause get that a little bit closer there now I didn't want to make this too long of a video and that's why I didn't go into the other options as far as LG Apple and Google uh, they're not going to give you as many choices as Samsung is I mean Samsung's allowing you to trade in those devices and then beneath this beneath the Samsung Galaxy S Edge is another slew of devices you got the S7 Active, S7, S6, XS, S6 Edge, uh, S6 Act and so forth and then it gets into devices uh, that actually have uh, cracked screens that there's something wrong with it and they'll still give you a little something whether it's a hundred bucks 75 bucks or whatever but Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus being the highest at 450 well actually the S Galaxy S9 not the plus as well 450 smacks the Note 8 400 uh, S8 plus 400 S8 S8 active 400 and then it starts to drop the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge down to 300 so I would receive $450 and this is where you uh, let Samsung know if there's any issues with the device that you are trying to trade in uh, device powers on does it power on and hold a charge uh, normal wear and tear no liquid damage functioning uh, display and no cracked screen has an FCC ID and not blacklisted Factory reset and no software uh, locks. I think that's what that says. So if all that is compliant, you're basically saying your device has been taken care of. It's pretty much in mint condition or really good condition. Then you would uh, click yes, I agree. If, um, and the only other, uh, the only other way that's not going to show up, it's going to be a different option, is if you choose one of these right here. Uh, if you have a cracked screen on an S7 Edge, cracked screen on a Galaxy S7 Active, and a cracked screen on a uh, Galaxy S7. So then it would be a different um, area that you would go and let them know that they're going to be receiving a device that does have some damage. Okay, But for the most part, mine was in compliance. It's in mint condition. My device is pretty much on all mint condition. So then I would put, I would, not put, I would click, I would touch, I would enter the yes I agree and then finally this is what would show a picture of the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus and valued at 450 then I would click on there and reserve so that's the process again most of you know this process a lot of you've already done this yeah you're reserving a spot for your note 9 that's what we're doing here and even though it didn't necessarily say that it gives you a visual picture of what they're asking you to do here. So um, now I've reserved one. Now I I, I still may may sell my S9 Plus. Uh, I don't know for sure yet. Uh, I have a couple people interested. Uh, I, I I could make more money that way, or I could just trade my S9 Plus in and receive uh, the Note 9. Uh, you know, once because it's reserved, then I'll get uh, an email that uh, it's ready for you know pre-orders and then I'll get my device by August 24th locked uh, you'll be able to get the two different whether it's 128 gig or the 512 gig uh, 6 gig of RAM uh, there is going to be a device uh, Note 9 with the Exynos processor as well 6.4 inch device 1440 by 2960 Super AMOLED display dual speaker setup you'll have your dual cameras 12 megapixel cameras on the back 8 megapixel on the front uh, yes you'll have optical image stabilization on that rear uh, fingerprint reader is going to be beneath the cameras, uh, a Bluetooth enabled S Pen. Again, there, you know, right now there are, are some solid information on that S Pen and then there's the rumored information on the S Pen. Uh, most likely you're going to, uh, get the AKG, uh, earbuds inbox, uh, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 and, uh, let's see a bigger battery at 3850 is what I'm seeing right now. Yeah, uh, IP68, water resistant, wireless charging. It's going to have glass uh, material, metal frame. Uh, but again, August 9th, we'll, we'll, everything will be uh, 
all that info will be let out and, and we'll know how much of everything that we know now is true and how much we didn't know. Um, but, you know, because for the most part, it's getting compared a lot to the Note 8 that there's not going to be much difference as far as the aesthetic look. So we're going to see how much uh, different it is going to be when we're uh, actually using the device in hand, the functionality. And I think what really excites a lot of uh, folks out there and consumers, a lot of you uh, who are uh, Note fans who really utilize the S Pen, I'm one of those uh, that don't. But that could be a game changer if I'm able to use the S Pen as a controller. Um, I, I can use it to take phone calls, you know. So, I mean, there's a lot that can change for me personally with that S Pen. But, you know, uh, you know, so we, we want to see how much uh, we're hoping that there is a major difference with the Note 9 to the Note 8. But right now that, you know, there's a lot of similarities as far as what the look will be and uh, you, you're still basically getting the Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 that's in the S9 Plus. So, I mean, you're not getting as far as the performance that that's going to be there. Uh, you're still going to probably get a lot of bloatware. You're still going to have that Bixby button. Uh, I, I would hope that they would take the Bixby button and, and, and put it up top in the volume rocker down below. That would be really nice for those of us who don't utilize Bixby, even though they're claiming Bixby's going to, it's gotten better and it's going to get better. But um, the camera should be amazing as far as the functionality. We'll see if I actually sell my uh, S9 Plus or I use it as a trade-up device. Uh, it's what I did with my S8 Plus and how I got the Note 8. So uh, it's, a, it's a great way it's it's a good option. It's a really good option. If you can sell your device for more, if you can make more, you know, through Swappa or through a family member, a friend, coworker, whatever, um, if you take it into any local stores, they're not going to give you hardly anything. So, uh, but if you can make more than 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 being able to trade it up and getting your Note Nine, I would go about it that way. Um, that's just an opinion of mine. But if if you if, if you feel uh, that's just going to be uh, simpler for you to go through the Samsung website and trade in your device as long as it's eligible, then, yeah, because a lot of us don't want to uh, go through the hassle of selling, boxing up, sending out, or even meeting somebody, and I, I don't mind doing that as long as it's local. I just recently did that with my ZTX on 7. So, anyway, um, there's a... Uh, Update, I guess, on the on the Note 9. I mean, receiving that email, let me know if you received the email. Let me know if you actually went through the process. You have put a Note 9 on reserve. Uh, here is my S9 Plus with the blue camo skin uh, on the back from Slip Graps. And uh, it's a great device. I just, you know, a little bit of focus hunting from time to time on the front camera when shooting video. Uh, it, it could be better, um, but the uh, the rear camera does really, really well. Uh, low light pictures are awesome. Fingerprint reader works great. You know, it's a smooth device. I wish that there wasn't as much bloatware. Uh, and I, well, I'm sure the Note 9 is going to carry a lot of bloatware. Um, that's just Samsung. And there's a lot of you that don't like that. And there's some of you that don't care. And there's some of you that find ways to disable or eliminate a lot of that bloatware. And there's different ways to do all of that. So, I mean, we're in a time and age where that's something if you want to, you know, on your own do, uh, then, then doing great. <laughs> um, I, I, after the reviewing process with any of my devices, I pretty much jump over to Nova Launcher so I can customize it to my character and personality and how I will uh, utilize, um, any smartphone that I have, um, from that point on, um, as a solo device for me out of pocket in hand and how I, I'm going to use it on a daily basis. So Nova Launcher is, is, is got to be thumbs up. <laughs> uh, one of the best launchers that you could adapt to any smartphone. But if you're, if you have a stock Android device, like a Huawei Nexus 6P or a Nexus 6, uh, Motorola Nexus 6, like I have, um, I don't mess with them. I leave them as is. Uh, and, uh, because it's stock. I don't need to change anything about that. It's a simple experience. Let me know if you went through the process. Let me know, yes, if you reserved your Note 9 and uh, what device you're trading out. What device you're trading in for the Note 9 if you're going to or if you're just going to keep your old device and move 
to the latest and greatest. Right around the corner, August 9th, Samsung. Everything is going to be put together. All the pieces to the puzzle. And hopefully that price point that we're now hearing about. 9.30, 9.40, 9.50, somewhere right in there. Wow. 128 gigs, 6 gigs of RAM. And you'll be able to expand that memory. Crazy. Crazy. All right, I'm done. Peace. God bless. To my next video. This is my Project 13. You are my Project 13. Appreciate your time. As always, stay tuned for the next bit. I 